Well, here we are again. Realizing that strings break, it just happens. I'd like you to take a look at this unison and notice how there's just two strings. Now occasionally when a string breaks, many times it'll break right at the speaking area, right on the speaking length, right under the capo here, and to tie the string would put a knot in the length unless you shifted it around. Now this is a school piano uh, to just cut off the broken length and then you leave two strings. What I did here is leave two strings on either side that would allow the hammer to hit a solid surface instead of just hitting one string of the unison. This knot is simply a form a loop and then twist a nice solid tight uh, wrap around it leaving the tail out to keep it from unwinding. So I'm back here this month and we're going to replace this string. Uh, now many times on a plate you'll see here they've uh, put the gauge of the string right here but again you can measure it so this is a 15 uh, the easiest way is to just buy the strings in a couple pound loop wire here. And we're going to, let me shift the camera now. So what we're looking for is to be able to get a loop or a length of string that will reach down with a little bit of slush, maybe three or four fingers. And then the other side, reach, give yourself a little extra, just clip the wire. Uh, when you Many people I've heard will make a loop um, and place it a selection of wires in CD holders which allow them to carry short lengths, quick replacement lengths in their tuning kit so you don't have to carry the big heavy wire, which I hate to carry this, this is out in the car most of the time, um, to replace any last minute strings. Uh, round pliers would probably be better and then hold it in and we're just going around and around trying to keep it as tight as possible to to keep your coil nice and tight and then when you go ahead and, and tighten that down you're gonna pull it down and it'll snug up against the pin there uh, the important thing to remember is that the concept, people say, well, the strings stretch. The strings keep stretching, and that's why it goes out of tune. Um, metallurgically, that doesn't really happen. When you put it up to tension, it's going to stretch a little bit, and it really doesn't stretch anymore after that. What we do notice is that the string has to go over some bends. Now, this string, this is a light one. It's, it's 15, so it's not too thick. Um, but it resists bending. You know, so you put a bend in it, and it's going to fight against that bend and that over time is what's going to finally end up bending and being solid. You know, you, if you see I can put a bend in it and it's not a crisp bend, it's more a bow. Best way to do it, and I'm just showing one way of doing these operations. See, we're going to try and get this around there to make a nice solid bend around there. You can lock it in with a pair of vice grips if you'd like. I think I can do that without blocking your view. And it's the same with an upright or a grand. Uh, upright, it's actually easier to pull the action out, obviously, to get... Um, access with a spinet, it's a, it's a rough call. Sometimes you just decide to work behind it. 
uh, with a grand piano everything's open here so it's a little easier to see and to access what you're gonna do so we've got the bridge pins here we need to get through the right configuration and then feed the wires under the capo so I've got one under the capo now keep which ones to the right which ones to the left you know I'll, I'll show you feeding the other one under one way to do that is just put it under take a pair of needle noses grab it underneath and you've got your wires in there feed it through the bridge pins now uh, these will probably shift as we go Boy, I never realized how difficult this would be to film um, this stuff close up so this string is going to go to the middle pin and again we can turn the pins out a little bit to get them up because we're going to turn them in when we tune them um, one quick measure is like a three four finger measurement depending on the thickness of your string or your fingers of course before you cut the string here's that dummy pin I used again in the other video where you can put this in remember we don't want a whole bunch sticking out we're trying to get it to be just flush with the hole now there are some really fancy coils coilers out there that do a great job if you do a lot of this a lot of this it might be a good job a good idea invest in that I'm sure my hands getting totally in the way here but I'm just trying to turn a nice tight coil and end up right over that tuning pin that I'm aiming for You have to pull the tuning pin. Now, of course, when I try and film it, it's more difficult than when I'm normally doing it. Yeah, so we place it over the pin, and we're looking for where the opening is to allow us to place the wire into the hole. We're going to go ahead and crimp that a little bit and then there's a handy little tool which will allow us to slip under the coil of wire to pull it up snug. And you're going to kind of go back and forth between tightening it gently now again, we're not trying to at all bring it up to pitch. We've only got one string in. Uh, like most of the treble strings, you'll see it's a down and back. So the, you have one long string that does two sounding lengths. So we're just trying to get a little bit of tension here. Get this nice and tight on the pin. In the right placement back here before we do the same thing with the next string. So here we go. We've got one, two, three, one, two, three, nice coils. Now uh, pushing down on the wires with a curved end of piano wire actually to pull up on the strings. just curvatures and we want to actually try and get it to bend around the area without damaging the bridge pin the bridge area itself or the bridge pin we're going to try and get this wire to bend and even in this area where you can pull up on it a little bit this again is the same technique you use for string leveling where you've got the hook on the string and you can sweep it gently to get under close to the capo back length 
don't need the vice grips now. 